Hey guys, welcome back to uh, 49 er Nation Once Question Series. I'm continuing um, with question 19, 20, and 21. So, um, question 19 was, what is your favorite sci-fi movie and TV series and why? Honestly, uh, I'm not a big sci-fi fan. Um, not that I hate it, but I never watched Star Wars growing up, not even the movies. But yeah, believe it or not, I never watched Star Wars. I never watched uh, Star Trek, um, the old or the new or the next generation. Um, I don't know. It just never appealed to me. Uh, this is a pretty hard question. Movie-wise, God, not nothing really stands out. Um, you know, what's your favorite favorite uh, sci-fi movie or TV show, TV series? I hope this one counts because it's on the Sci-Fi Channel. But uh, if I were to pick, and it's on a sci-fi channel, it would be Ghost Hunters. Ghost Hunters uh, would probably be my answer to my favorite uh, movie or TV series. Um, I've always been fascinated with the paranormal. Uh, yes, I do believe in ghosts, believe it or not. I mean, I know a lot of people probably don't. Um, even in my own home at night when I'm sleeping, I hear like little creaks or like a random noise. It's like... You know, what was that? You know, like I, I, <laughs> it kind of sounds creepy, but I, you know, well, quick story uh, to, to tell you real fast and why I believe in ghosts is because um, uh, back when I was um, living with my parents, me and my sister, uh, I'm the oldest, my sister's second oldest by two years, uh, the youngest. I'm 33, she's 31, so you're different, I'm older, but back in my folks, in my parents' home, uh, we shared an apartment when we were, when we were like late teenagers. Um, I must have been maybe like 19 and she was 17. Uh, she graduated from high school, so the apartment was all mine because she got shipped um, into the Army, um, to Louisiana, the, to the Armed Forces. So well, after she left, it was pretty much me by myself. So um, one night, I was trying to go to sleep and the apartment was empty, and I sort of got on her side of the room. Um, you know, her bed was there, and like behind her bed was like almost like a little mini cabinet thing. So I'm trying to go to sleep, right? And next thing you know, I hear like a rattle, like the headboard, the cabinet behind her bed thing rattle, and like the noise of somebody got up from the bed, and that just scared the living shit out of me, you know. So that's why I believe in the paranormal, you know, and 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 stuff like that. I believe something out there exists. Um, but everybody's got their own opinion, but I'm just rambling right now. But anyway, definitely check out Ghost Hunters on Sci-Fi Channel, and for that matter, Ghost Adventures uh, on Travel Channel. Ghost Adventures is more like for, um, they try to antagonize the spirits by pissing them off, by talking shit to them, while Ghost Hunters seems more professional, uh, professionally done, you know, they try to debunk certain things, and, uh, Either way, they're both, show, both shows about, you know, ghost hunting, and they're both good for their own reasons. So, my favorite sci-fi TV series, Ghost Hunters, Ghost Adventures. I hope that counts. Um, number, question 20. What system do I not want the question, what do I not want the collection for and why? Uh, damn. Probably any handheld system. Whether that be Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Gear, the Atari Lynx, uh, Neo Geo Pocket, DS, PSP, basically any handheld system. And I play handheld, I got nothing against them, but my bread and butter and my, uh, what I'm all about is the home consoles, you know, sitting in front of the TV, playing with the controller in hand. Um, the handhelds are just there for long trips, for when I'm bored or just for like when I'm out, you know, when I'm not up in front of a TV. So I definitely would not want the collections for any handheld system out there. Even though I do got a lot of games, I wouldn't want all of them, you know. And they're just there for uh, side entertainment, basically. Now, question 21. Do I collect games because they are worth money or wanting to relive my childhood memories? I think a little bit of both. Uh, anything and... You know, for me, um, reliving my childhood, always, I have so many fun memories as a child. Um, I had a pretty good upbringing growing up. I have lots of fond memories. I 
look back at my childhood with a uh, fondness about Fertile's memories. They had so many great moments growing up. And uh, whether it be TV shows or games or family memories or pop culture, I just have a bunch of memories. So um, I remember my dad got me an Atari 2600 Junior with seven games on the joystick. And then I begged him for a Nintendo. He got me a Nintendo. And that was a big thing back then. The last console he got me was Sega Genesis before I started getting my own systems when I started working. Um, so I do it for the childhood memories. I, I get satisfaction in knowing that even though today's pop culture entertainment is all fucked up, I can always go back and play the games I grew up playing, you know, and, and enjoy them, you know, because they were the shit back then and they're still the shit now. That's why GameStop's trying to tap into, um, you know, retro games because they know there's a market for it again. Um, and also, um, the second part of that question was, um, you know, do I, do I uh, collect them because they're worth money or do they have childhood hard memories? The childhood memories would be first, but, you know, they are worth money. Had I known, had any of us known, you know, that they're going to be worth money, I think we would have uh, saved them from when we were kids instead of trying to get them now as adults. But for me, if I get like a double of a game, let's say I get a double of Contra or Mega Man, um, what I would do is I would resell it to try to add more to my collection. So it's a little bit of both. So I hope that answers your question. Uh, let's see, I did 19, 20, 19, 20, yeah. All right, so I did 19, 20, 21. So I'm going to stop right here. We're going to go to the last part of the question series. Um, so, yeah, tune in, guys.